When 33-year-old Sol Murray bumped into Cleon Brown and Sapreet Dillon outside his home on the 27th of February 2022, the last thing he thought is that was trying to set him up to rob his Rolex watches. The two women conspired with two other men to set up and rob Sol for his two Rolex watches that he'd shown on social media. This week, several of them have been convicted for their involvement in what led to be his murder. Akam Afia, Cleon Brown, Sapreet Dillon and Tamideo Orr have all been found guilty for their part in the death of the 33-year-old. His body was discovered at his home on Newtown Street in Luton in the early hours of Sunday, the 27th of February, 2022. The police and the ambulance arrived at the scene shortly after 5am but Mr Murray died from his injuries. A post-mortem examination revealed that he had blood loss from a knife wound to his leg. During the trial, the court heard the two girls visited Mr Murray in his flat and they planned to steal the Rolex watches that they believed had high value. Dylan initially contacted Mr Murray on Instagram where he posted the pictures of himself wearing the watches. The conversation then continued onto WhatsApp and they arranged to meet up later on that day. Courtroom evidence also said the two girls had sexual activity with Sol before his death and they found DNA on his neck and when he was found outside dead, he was also naked. CCTV recovered from the address several hours after Mr Murray was found dead showed the two women entering the flat with him at 11.40 on the evening. One of the women left at 2.30am but she propped open the communal door with a broom. She then returned 25 minutes later with two males. The two women left 20 minutes later and the two men were not far behind. It was clear one of the men were carrying a large knife. Mr Murray was seen running towards the door before he fell on the floor and died shortly afterwards. Bedfordshire Police and Hertfordshire Police worked together to identify Dylan and Orr from the CCTV. Additional footage confirmed that a Mercedes-Benz that was acting suspiciously in the area was also hired by Brown. And also there was forensic evidence from glass that was left at the scene. Brown, Dylan and Orr were all arrested shortly after and charged with murder and the inquiries are still ongoing into the fourth suspect but CCTV from a fast food restaurant in London showed Brown and a male believed to be the other suspect Ikem wearing a distinctive designer coat with the same garments seen at the scene of the incident. All four of them were convicted of their involvement today and will be sentenced on the 3rd of March. Ikem Afia, 31 years old from London, was convicted of murder. Cleo Brown from South Hackney was found not guilty of murder, but guilty of manslaughter and conspiracy to commit robbery. Sapreet Dillon, 36 years old from London, was convicted was not convicted of murder, but guilty of manslaughter. And Tamindeo Orr, 21 years old from Gillingham, was found not guilty of murder, but guilty of manslaughter. Detective Inspector Dale Metsteep from Bedfordshire Police said, This was an alarming act of violence that resulted in Murray losing his life. All four of them planned to rub him and they all agreed to use force and threats as well as a sedative substance. In this case, it was GHB, which is often used in date rape scenarios. So everybody was very confident that he would have put up a fight. This story is a big reminder of the risks that you take day in, day out when you're on social media, the things that you show people and who you meet afterwards as well. How do you know that that person that you've met hasn't just been aware of your social media presence and then maybe lined you up to try to get robbed by somebody else? Because watches nowadays are worth a lot of money. So situations like this are arising more and more every single week. So really appreciate you joining me today and rest in peace to Sol Murray and my condolences to his family as well. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.